Hello, I'm Paula Roy, and on behalf of the Wellington West BIA, I'm delighted to welcome you to a Taste of Wellington West virtual program. Our annual Taste Festival is looking a little bit different this year. Normally we'd be out on the streets, but this year we're in my kitchen and yours, and also some of our area food shops and restaurants. And one of the things that we're really trying to reinforce is what an amazing area this is for food. Whether you live here or you're just visiting, it doesn't take very long to realize that there are some incredible food options. From small food shops to fine dining restaurants and everything in between, there's just such terrific variety. And I feel so fortunate as someone who loves to cook and to eat to have such a great selection literally right on my doorstep. And today is Tuesday. So we're talking takeout because it's Takeout Tuesday. And I'm very excited to show you in a moment what I've picked up from Absinthe Cafe on Wellington West. Chef and owner Pat Garland, himself a Wellington West native, had not really been in the takeout game before, but this year he embraced it wholeheartedly and he's come up with an incredible array of offerings available through the absinthecafe.ca website. And there's this package that I'm gonna show you, but lots of other options as well and you can even add wine or beer or cider to your food order if you wish. Absinthe offers takeout Tuesdays through Saturdays between 4.30 and 8.30, and you can pre-order up to seven days ahead of time or even as little as one hour before you wanna pick up your order, so that's pretty great service. And they do offer curbside delivery, so they'll bring it to your car if you like, or you can also just pop into the restaurant and collect it, which is what I did today. And I have to tell you that I was very impressed looking at how well spaced out the tables and chairs were inside Absinthe. So if you're comfortable dining indoors, I would heartily recommend that as an option. And they do have a small patio in the back as well. And if you prefer to dine in the comfort of your own home, then this is a terrific option as well. So let's open the bags and see what we've got here. This is Absinthe's barbecue for two package. First off, I see there's a mystery envelope. Let's open it up. Oh my goodness, it's a thank you card from Chef Garland, just thanking me for having purchased this meal. I think that's a really nice touch. And next up, we've got what I'm expecting to be a kind of a road map, and yes it is. And it's quite humorous, I already know, because it starts with Absinthe barbecue for two. Take it home, fire up the grill, be the mistress or master of your own domain. I love that. I'm feeling so empowered about this meal already. And it lists all the different ingredients and then there's really great instructions to cook the steaks that are in here as well as how to reheat all the other components so that they're absolutely perfect. I think that's just wonderful. And there's even a playlist suggestion at the bottom. You couldn't get more comprehensive than that. This is very indicative of Chef Garland's playful personality. He's a bit of a retiring shy guy, but I happen to know that he's an incredible community booster and does a lot of work supporting the Parkdale Food Centre. And Taste of Wellington West serves as a very important fundraiser for the Parkdale Food Centre. So anytime you participate during the festival between September 14th and October 10th, you'll be helping the Parkdale Food Centre as well. So let's see what is in the bags. Wow, first up I've pulled out two beautiful New York strip loin steaks and they're vacuum packed with a marinade. It's a chamula marinade, which is typically olive oil, garlic, lemon, and cilantro, sometimes parsley. And these steaks just look so perfect. They're exactly even in thickness, so they're gonna be really great to cook. And I see that we've got very specific instructions, including using lump charcoal and chef mentioned resting time which if you've grilled a little you know about but he said when they're resting to put a nice big uh, piece of butter on each one and lots of salt and I'm definitely going to try that when I grill these up later. Next up we have a container of greens it looks like perfectly crispy romaine lettuce so that's exciting and chef notes in the page as well that he doesn't even encourage you to simply recycle the containers that come with this meal they're all reusable except for the bag that the steak is in so reuse them and I think that's great this will make a super container for a little picnic snack or for packing a lunch in so I love that he's so thoughtful about how he puts this package together so to go with our greens we have a bag of absinthe house-made croutons We've got some bacon bits to be reheated, and it looks like double smoked bacon to me, so that's pretty exciting. We have a very generous sized container of Absinthe Caesar dressing, and I've tasted this before in the restaurant, and it's so, so good. Absinthe specializes in 
I'll say sort of Canadianized bistro fare, but it's got a lot of those really classic French underpinnings and sauces of all kinds and dressings like this are a real strength of Chef Garland's kitchen. And he noted that there's so much in this container that there's more than you need for one salad, so we're welcome to enjoy it another day with a second salad, so that's pretty generous. And the last thing in bag number one is a container of absinthe coleslaw, and I've had this before as well, and it's so flavorful and I'm expecting also colorful, and yes, indeed it is. It looks so good. Looks like there's some radish and carrot, and everything is shredded to a nice even consistency, which makes for a good eating experience. So that is container number one. Now we'll open the second bag. And by the way, the uh, flyer that it comes with the meal, it mentions that this is a good meal for 200 people. I can already tell you that I'm confident this meal would serve three or even four. So the barbecue for two, if you've got say two adults and two kids, this is probably a great meal for a family. And in this little paper bag, we have, oh, I can tell already, some of Chef Garland's amazing chocolate chip cookies. These are so good. I love to dunk them, so I might be finishing my meal with a glass of milk and a cookie. I don't know. They're so, so, so good. And we'll just tuck those there, I'm trying to stack everything up all beautifully for you. There we go. And also in this container, I jumped ahead. I should have pulled out the focaccia next. This is a terrific option instead of potatoes, for example, to go with the steak. And it's pillowy soft. I've had the focaccia many times. It just is so good. I don't know how he makes it so light and soft and satisfying. I've made a lot of focaccia and it's never going to be as good as this. So that's a really nice touch and I see that there are instructions for reheating it. So that's perfect. It's going to be at the optimum temperature. And last but not least, we have one final container and we'll just open it up. do this gracefully for you. Oh wow, it's a peach bourbon crisp. It smells so good and I know I'm going to be reheating this as well to serve it warm and this is going to be such a great finish for this amazing meal. And I feel compelled to mention that all of this food only costs $60 and I think that's amazing when you consider the price of a restaurant meal that represents really good value. The fact that you're getting restaurant quality meat plus all these sides which took a considerable amount of time to prepare. So this is a really great option if you want to enjoy a special meal at home that takes minimal effort and everything will just be at the right temperature, warm room temperature, fresh, delicious, and you get the satisfaction of knowing that you played an important role in putting it on the table, which is grilling the steaks. So take out Tuesday, whatever meal you choose, hopefully it'll be something from Absinthe this week, take a picture of it, post it on social media, and be sure to use the hashtag Taste of Wellington West. You'll automatically be entered into a draw to win a $50 gift card from the Wellington West Merchant of your choice. Happy takeout, everybody.